Hello there, it's Matthew Gibbs again from Health MOT, and in video number two of this little micro series of videos to help you improve your health and your weight and your lifestyle, we're going to talk about housework. And what I want you to do is think right now about your kitchen, and what I want to do is to make some small changes within your kitchen to help you go through the process of modifying your lifestyle over the coming three to six to 12 or to, to up to 18 months. Because if you want to really change your health, then you need to be focused at doing it, and we want to make it as easy as possible. So we want to get rid of any distractions, and we want to make it as fluid as possible so that when you're in that process of making food or doing the things that you need to do to make yourself more healthy, then you're not distracted by certain things that are in all places around the kitchen. So what I want you to do is find one cupboard in the kitchen and that'll be the cupboard called the weekend cupboard and what I'd like you to do is when you get yourself some 30 minutes and you can do that right now or sometime in the next couple of days whatever's convenient for you is I want you to go into the kitchen chung yourself out 30 minutes of time so you've got enough time to do it and remove everything from the cupboards that are in the cupboards with food you know all the other the cupboards with crockery and glasses and things like that, leave those, but the, the specific cupboards with food, then take everything out and find yourself one free empty cupboard. I want you to put everything in that cupboard that we're going to say we're going to allow ourselves to have on the weekend for the initial period of time as we're making our transition towards better health. So all the things that need to go in there are processed or packaged foodstuffs and things that are dry goods rather rather than stuff that's going to be in the freezer or the fridge. We're going to have to have a separate um, video or a separate explanation about making some alterations in space in the fridge or the freezer for those kind of foods. But for dry goods, anything that is in a packet or in a box or in a tin or something like that, then those kind of things that are processed, that potentially have lots of ingredients that have additives, preservatives, colourings, um, other ingredients that you're not so familiar with what exactly they are, then all of those need to go in that weekend cupboard. So I'm not saying to you that you need to get those things and throw them away. We'll put them in this one cupboard and then we can use those if we want to, if we make a conscious decision to use those at a particular time in the future, then we've got them there, we've already bought them so we can bring them out of that cupboard and use them on a weekend. Otherwise, we'll then talk at a later stage about whether we want to make a decision about getting rid of those things straight away or not. So please find yourself 30 minutes, please um, create in the, cup, in the kitchen your cupboard space so that you've got the weekend cupboard and then you've got your other cupboard which will be the foods that we'll talk about in the, the following program which is the free 27 days program that will start you on the process of changing the way you eat so that it fits in with you and your lifestyle and your experiences, but allows you to get some beneficial improvements in your health and in your cholesterol. So that was video number two. I look forward to seeing you in video number three, and we'll talk about the next topic then.